Get off your high fructose corn syrup filled butt and do something about it. Hee ha, hee ha. Is there room for me? No! I need to get high and I need to have, make some walls around myself. Oh, it's a pig. We'll name him Piglet. Come on, I can't, I can't domesticate these things, dude. What is this? Just look at this man right here, okay? Look at the hate in this man's eyes right now, folks. Look at the sheer terror in his face. He looks like a running back holding a football who somehow made it into the NFL without ever actually playing a single game in his entire life. And then all at once, he's met face to face with this guy. This guy right here who's ready to literally, no joke, rip your skin, clean off your skull. But instead of this guy, it's no joke, just our microscopic YouTube channel that he's encountered for the first time here folks okay you cannot make this stuff up this man right here truly believes that i am personally trying to kill his child with a piece of literal candy it's like vegan cheese <laughs> it's not really that great but at least you can kind of eat pizza hey hi uh i realize this is like a required cultural ritual so i'm going to do the bare minimum to Get by. If love is the new like, then like is the new crush. Let me explain. So, what'd you think about that girl you met at the party? Um, oh, she was cool. I mean, I didn't really get to talk to her that much, but I mean, I liked her. Oh, you liked her? I knew you liked um, her! Yeah, no, I just, I, I, what? I barely even talked to her. I just, I, I didn't even catch her name. I mean, she, I, she was cool, though. Oh, you thought she was cool? I mean, how else are we supposed to explain our positive feelings for someone if we're too scared that someone else is gonna read into it? <laughs> you read into it? <laughs> I'm gonna go buy a bomb with this! Unbelievable! I cannot physically do that anymore. Wow. Boy, that's some witchcraft you're talking about right there. I just spent the last five seconds talking to one. <laughs> with the holy side hug and watch the sparks fly. On my first date with this girl I've known since I was two I've crushed on her since VBS, I don't know what to do Extend my arm to side hug her and prove my love is true Our shoulders touch and what a rush, I know she feels it too It was the first time our shoulders touched I knew I was in love when my one arm went around you, I knew. Hard truth of life, okay? Even if... This is totally crazy. Even if she is flirting with you, that doesn't mean that she likes you. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just one of those things. She may just be flirting because a girl's flirt and hurt you. So here's the catch-22. If you want her to keep flirting, you can't act like you think she likes you because then she might stop. You are so funny. <laughs> and you have such a cute smile, too. Well, you have a cute smile, too. Maybe our smiles should touch. <laughs> Look, regardless of whether or not she liked you before you did that terrible thing you did, maybe our smiles should touch. The fact is, she doesn't like you anymore. I'm going to try to explain it to you as simply as possible. Here we go. Fair use is anytime you use someone else's content for any reason. At least, that's the impression I get from watching YouTubers. I am being sued now, but this is clearly a case of fair use. It was transformative in that when I re-uploaded their video, I changed the title. I even put it in Premiere and slowed the footage by 2%. And I wrote, I do not own this in the description, which protects me legally. Please contribute to my GoFundMe. What's two plus two? Are you happy? Do you have friends? Die, 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 die. I don't know what to do with my hands. Definitely Tim Hawkins and John Christ. Who are your favorite comedians? Got yeah, like, there's two options. You can completely destroy this guy, which he is well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> you can confide in like the one sentence best friend who is so important, you at least throw her in the first sentence. You can talk to her and be like, help me out, all right? Your brother is weird. He's destroying my life. Or you can leave the church. <laughs> Those are the three valid options. You gotta pick which one. Which option would I choose? Look, at this point in my life, I, it would be to the point of 
slight destruction, <laughs> but doing it in, in, in a kind, you know, Christ-like way, flipping tables, <laughs> things like that. That's what I would do. So next time there's a non-consensual full frontal hug, just flip him over. Flip him over, slam the bathroom door, he'll crawl into the girl's restroom. That's when you call the cops. And he's done. <laughs> I can't even imagine Josh somebody being married and bumping into them and it's like well it's justified because they are bipolar like come on that's messed up you need to honestly I don't think that you can control you need to quit this job at for some reason I was picturing she worked at Cracker Barrel but I don't think she, I don't think she does now I always have mental images streaming through my mind to try and relate and it was Cracker Barrel this is something that would happen at a Cracker Barrel <laughs> right because sometimes older people work there and then you see a younger person work there. Look, I mean, being honest, it's not, it's not a problem. Just get out of Cracker Barrel. I mean, honestly, you cannot control yourself. And it's sad. This guy I like and I... Wait, is, they don't even say hi, Jordan. This is so presumptive. They don't, they just expect that I'm going to be responsive to this. Can you imagine walking up to a stranger? I am technically a stranger to this person. And just starting to talk without saying hello. We'll let it slide this time. But from the start, this is not going to be the best message. It can't be. This guy I like and suspected had feelings for me asked me out. But the thing is, period. I can't date him because I am 15 and can't date till I'm 16 because of my religion. And because, is that in the Bible? Is it in the Bible that you can't date when you're 16? And because my parents would kill me. That must be in her religion as well. <laughs> what I'm about to say will shock some, disturb many, and cause most to question everything. But say it I must. Donald Trump I beat China all the time. is a Teletubby. Now, not just any Teletubby, I'm not sitting here telling you that Donald Trump is dipsy. If I was, I would shut this off myself, okay? Trump obviously isn't black, definitely not a girl, and definitely not Asian. No, Donald Trump is the leader of the pack, the tallest in stature, the one who could literally sit on you and hit you with this purse over and over until you do what he says, if, that is, you caught him on a bad day. But he's just so nice and loves everyone that he contains himself. That's right, Donald Trump is Tinky Winky. Doctor Strange. Is that a joke? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, is that actually one? Yeah, that's one of them. Doctor Strange. <laughs> I feel like you're joke. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's no, actually that's, one? No, I haven't seen that. That's it. really one of them. When did that come out? Okay, I think my biggest question in this whole thing. I guess I don't technically know who the Avengers are, <laughs> because there were like the obviously the core like six people, like the Blue Lady and the, like, the blue alien. I don't know who that was. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, all the older guys, like, all the guys who looked like they should retire soon, uh -huh. you know? I'm assuming those were the Avengers, but then they could do diddly squat, and then all of a sudden, like, the Black Panther and all of his horde of people, and then, like, all these other people coming out of the woodworks. Are they the Avengers too? Like, why didn't they just help them the entire time, and then none of this, none of that craziness would have happened? So they... They were the ones that had been like turned to dust. They were that was the whole movie was about saving those people that show all the people that showed up oh, at the okay. end. Those were the they were reappearing. The other the other thing that I mean like I just couldn't believe it was when that tree guy mm -hmm. that like all the kids have like the stuffed animals of. Yes. When he came walking through the portal, I was like I thought I didn't know that he was a part of these movies. I thought that was a cartoon on Cartoon Network or something. No, that's I mean, what, that was pretty confusing. That's from Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I liked the the little um, raccoon guy. And man, I nailed exactly what his character was gonna be like. I know exactly how they're gonna animate him. He's gonna be slightly snarky, kind of like, kind of knows everything, uh, and just kind of a know-it-all and kind of rude. As soon as he talked, I turned to Josh and was like, how, did, how in the world did I know that? <laughs> but if you insist, and you think you can handle it. I, I, I can handle it, Dad. If you were a bad person in this life, when your time is up, you go to a terrible, horrible, torturous place called Twitter. Twitter? 
What's Twitter? Are you sure you want to know this son? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine the worst, most horrible place that your mind can possibly imagine. And then multiply that by 280 characters. 280? Yeah, they recently doubled in size. Oh my. Yeah, it was just too much evil for one spot, so they had to make it bigger. What happens in this Twitter? Nothing. At first. Then slowly. And then all at once. You lose your humanity. My humanity? Just be good. That's all I have to say, son. Okay, good night. But Dad, no! Dad, what if I go to Twitter when I die? Just be a good kid and you don't have to worry about this stuff. Good night! Dad, please! No! No, Dad, no! Well, how'd it go? I don't think he'll ever get a Twitter account now. <laughs> Well guys, this has been so fun. Now let's make sure you punch that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, rate five stars, sacrifice your firstborn, swear a blood oath to this channel, call up a friend, get my URL tattooed to your forehead. Thank you.